After four long weeks of being stuck at home, we had had enough. We had to get out. We had to find out what was on the other side of the glass windows. We knew we couldn't get a professional haircut. We knew we couldn't go to the sporting goods store. But we had to get out and find out what was out there. What were these strange bird sounds that we heard? We needed to know more, and we also needed to put our running shoes on and maybe get some exercise. This is our story. So as we meandered our seven miles or so, I came away with two observations. Number one, everyone seemed to be doing the same thing. I mean, like everybody and their uncle. Uh, people were out running, they were walking, they were rollerblading, they were riding bikes, they were walking in big, big groups, not really working hard at avoiding one another. And two, I got the sense that we're really the only ones who know about this pandemic thing. I mean, if you stop and watch the birds and the ducks and the plants sprouting out of everywhere and you hear the tree frogs and you hear the, 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 the traffic from the nearby highway, I mean, it's pretty much business as usual. I once read that there are an estimated 1.5 million different species on Earth, but then I also have read that scientists believe that there could be upwards of 8.7 million species of unique plants, animals, fungi, lichen, and bacteria. Hey, I think I see some lichen. So this leads me to my point. Let's assume there are upwards of 8.7 million unique life forms on Earth. Just how many of these unique species know there is a pandemic going on? Right, just one, us. Not even the notorious coronavirus knows it's a pandemic. It's just happily going about its business of living, replicating, and keeping the good times rolling. Just like everything else. Anyway, just some food for thought. Nice walk, nice talk, Bye bye